A few weeks ago, I made a video on how to add a flag to your language switcher on Webflow. Today, we're happy to see that Webflow released this feature natively so that now we can just natively add an image to our locale, just like adding a name so that image can be a flag. And today we're gonna see how that works. Now, doing this natively is better for your website performance. Instead of adding a custom code that might slow down your website, having this feature natively is a great option and it's great from Webflow to offer this on the normal plan so that now we we can just add a flag to our locale or how many ever locales we have. Without explaining this further, let's see how this is done on Webflow. And before we start, just don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up and hit that notification bell so that you can see these videos on time. So without further ado, let's get to it. So I'm gonna add my local language switcher here next to this hamburger menu button. So first I'm gonna add a div block. This div block is gonna be in the middle. I'm gonna give it an auto margin from the left so that it's placed next to the hamburger menu button. I'm gonna give it one rem from the right so it has some spacing. And I'm just gonna name it language switcher wrap. Inside it, I'm gonna add a local list. So this is my local list. And then inside it, I'm gonna add a dropdown. So this is the dropdown, it goes here. And then I open the dropdown and where it says dropdown list, I'm gonna add local list. I'm gonna remove these links and then this is there. So when I open this, I can see my locals. And uh, now we're gonna style it a little bit. So first I'm gonna remove this link and I'm gonna add here an image. So uh, we're gonna have an image here. We're not gonna have a text. And this image will be basically pulling from the local image. So you see the local image. Now I've already uploaded a flag. So if we go to the local, we'll go to localization, and we go to English, for example, you can see here it says display image. And here's where you can add your flag image. And then the same thing for the Arabic or whatever language you have, you can just go and add an image. Now this image can be a flag, can be an your own image, it can be whatever you want. So this is just for you to distinguish the locale. Okay, so now we're gonna name this icon medium. Icon medium, oh my God, I have so many icons. Yeah, so icon medium. And then inside the local list, we're also gonna do the same thing. So let's open this. And instead of a link text, we're just gonna add, uh, actually, we're gonna add a link block inside the link block will be an image and this image will be the current locale let's open this so we see what we're doing uh, we're gonna remove this text and we're gonna name this also icon medium icon medium so that's good and the local list we're just gonna make it flex and we're gonna give some padding uh, some gap i mean we're gonna center it and we're gonna also this, we're just going to make it zero from all sides. Let's see how this works. Now you open it, you can choose the locale. So let's give this some padding as well. So this will be actually let's give the locale less some padding. So that's one run. And let's change the background color of this to transparent or actually black. We need the same black as here. So now if we drop it, drop down you can see that these are here let's add a hover effect as well just to make this local link and we'll add a hover effect to it so that when you hover it just goes to 70 percent let's see now so we open very nice perhaps we'll also add some transition so to opacity, it will be 400 and we'll choose the ease out quart. Let's see, very nice. Now another thing, let's say you want to hide the active locale. So instead of seeing the English flag twice, you can only see it once and only see the, the other locale, the one that's available to, to go to. So if you go to the locale, and you give it a class, let's say local item. So we click on the local, click on the local link. 
Now we need to link it first. I didn't link it. So you link it to the subdirectory. And now if you see here, the local link has a current state. Now in the current state, I can say it hides. So if it's a current state, it just hides. Let's fix these. Uh, let's remove this gap and that's it. So if we publish now and have a look, we're just going to see the available locale and not the current locale. So if we go here to the website, we're going to see the English flag and we're going to see the Arabic flag. And if you switch, you just go back to the Arabic flag. Now, also another thing you saw that we just changed to the home page and we don't want to do that. We actually want to go stay on the same page. So if we go here on the link, so I chose subdirectory. I can choose page. So now it's just going to stay on the same page and gives me the English version or the Arabic version of that page specifically. So let's see how that works. So if I go here, click Arabic, it just changes the same page. It stays on the same page, but it just changes it to Arabic. And that's basically it. Another thing we can fix is this language flag staying there on the side. So maybe we can include it in a div with along with the so along with the hamburger menu we can combine them so let's say we choose the hamburger menu and this we can wrap them in a div block and this div block is going to be centered it's going to be menu buttons nav and if we change now to the arabic locale you can see that they move together and we can also add some spacing between this. So at least a one RAM spacing and we remove the one RAM here. And this way, it's always going to just switch sides when the when the locale changes. Now, having a locale in Arabic is a bit tricky because of the right to left, but things like that can really help just keep things consistent. So now you can see it's consistent with the button and that's how I want it. I don't want it to be on the right side always i want it to be next to the button next to the hamburger menu button thank you for watching this video i hope i taught you something today don't forget to subscribe give me a thumbs up if you like this video and drop a comment if you have any ideas on how to use this feature even better i'm always happy to hear from you guys see you in the next one